Facebook's roster and called her and said, Hello? I'm over here stroking my Oh no! <laughs> stroking my Lord Jesus! <laughs> we got a new one. We got another one from CJ the Champ. Like Yagami. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'ma run in your pantry and take all your snacks. Them gummy bears not safe. Them Doritos are not safe. I'm telling you. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. Help your boy out. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another installment of anime's deadliest serial killers. And today we dive into the case of the most notorious serial killer in anime history. And that is none other than Kira, aka Light Yagami. Yagami. And my God, with all the evidence and the amount of victims this man racked up, this case is going to be a beefy one. So let's stop wasting time. So without further ado, it's time to dive in to the Kira case. Light Yagami, one oh my of the God. most diabolical niggas to ever exist. A man with a kill count that ranges in the six figures. Ooh. A You're a victim. Mm. A whole cult praising this nigga, thinking <laughs> that he's the Messiah. I need somebody to help me glorify God. Lord. Stretch out your arms. Lord Jesus. Yeah. Say anyway. oh. You have to wonder how the actual f did this generic ass background character looking toothpick built ass nigga Damn. become one of the most notorious mass murderers in fiction? All right, CJ, you better relax with all the name calling. He might write your name in that death note, buddy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is why we are here. So first off, we need to know what the hell the weapon was to commit all these homicides. A book. And that, of course, a is notebook. the death note. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how this thing works. But, but if you forgot, here's a quick refresher. The human whose name is written in this note shall die the mm -hmm. note will not take effect unless the writer has the person's face in their mind when writing his or her name therefore people sharing the same name will not be affected if the cause of death is written within 40 seconds of writing person's name it will happen and finally after writing the cause of death details of the death should be written in the next six minutes and 40 seconds now with all of that explained we can now move into the first major incident and that is of course the first confirmed 52 victims local crackhead ugly bastard and 52 heart attacks you're a victim mm. now when light first found the death note when it conveniently dropped right in front of him he thought to himself man this is some bullshit what is this a sick joke who the hell would believe this but light being a little curious george decided to take the book so later would y'all would y'all take that book just if you didn't know what it was you didn't know where it was it just fell down and you looked through it would you still take that book or would you be like nah this is cap what do y'all what do y'all think let me know in the comments when light got home bro was a little bored so he ended up thinking in his head mm, i mean it doesn't hurt to try it out right so light's intrusive thoughts took over so he ended up turning on the news and hearing breaking news a local crackhead is holding eight children hostage at a daycare so light said F it. let's write this guy's name down Tough. i mean he's a criminal after all so 40 seconds later the news comes back on and says breaking news the children <laughs> have been set free and the assailant just over and died oh my god when this man light was shook he was like no 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 it, it was just coincidence right <laughs> no, no fucking way right but it was no coincidence no. this local crackhead was the first victim of light but light needed more proof because he thought it just had to be a random coincidence that bro had a heart attack when he wrote his name down so later on that same night while Light is walking back from cram school, he ends up seeing this lady walking, and these bikers come up and start to harass her. So ugly biker bastard right here ends up saying, Yo, what's up with your teeth? Yo, y'all see that? This man's teeth is crazy. He, he look like he finna take a bite out of crime. You're a victim. Mm. Oh my God. Hey, you got veneers? <laughs> How about you come fuck with a real nigga and come who uh, spit on that thing for me? Oh, no. Lord so Jesus. Freaky ass niggas tried to redo a healer shorty in the parking lot. Oh, While no. Was in the convenience store watching the whole thing like, not on my watch, you 69 gods. So he <laughs> wrote bro's name down hey. and made the cause. That was 69 gods. Death. And the rest was history. Old girl breaks away while ugly bastard tries to track her down. Watch your head, bro. Watch your head. Oh, shit. <laughs> Truck Coon is undefeated. Get up! 
just like that light caught another body and this man was stunned he was like no 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 fucking way <laughs> I, I, I just summoned truck <laughs> i must be a fucking god and at this point, ah, that's different yeah that's different complex was born this man went back to the crib, locked the door, looking like he about to beat oh, that no. thing, and said, I'm about to cleanse this world of its garbage. So this man looked up a list of criminals and just started getting Going crazy. This nigga started writing so fast, it looked like he had an essay due the next day. And he man. just started racking up bodies. Body, body, body. Going crazy, thinking in his head. Yeah, that ugly bastard that was talking to that little girl the other day. Enjoy being unemployed with Dr. Disrespect. Damn. You're a victim. Mm. You think they put you think he put Dr. Disrespect and Ava and them in there? Lord Jesus. Ooh wee. And this man went through the whole night just writing down names until two whole pages were full. Oh my god. And look at this man breathing hard as hell, looking like he just ran a 5K and just <laughs> off of that one night. This hey, man, the, the man hand getting cramps. I can tell. I can tell already. Man killed 52 criminals. Now, here's the wild part. That was just criminals that died of heart attacks. Because mm. when Interpol got this information, they was like, there could be some people that were unaccounted for. So that death toll could have easily been over 100. Ooh. So after Light racked up all of his first victims, the name Kira started spreading like wildfire because Light was constantly oh, dropping off yeah. niggas. Every single day, he was killing multiple criminals. And yeah. people all around the world was supporting this man. They had Reddit threads and Discord servers just glazing this nigga. And yeah. this just amped up his god complex even more bro just looking at this light yeah that's right glaze me nigga <laughs> polish this willy and of course now he got this a1 instigating shinigami ryuk attached to his hip the whole time now but even though light was killing only criminals at the end of the day it was still murder and this is when yep, this man fell for the trap now this is the moment where you just think to yourself what if light never made this crucial mistake and that mistake was killing linda l taylor on live tv so a worldwide public service announcement comes on tv and this man announces himself as l but obviously this ain't l but light didn't know so linda l taylor starts speaking and saying good afternoon world my name is linda l taylor Kira, if you're watching this, we have a message for you. You are evil and you are just a mindless serial killer. And I'm gonna bring your punk ass to justice. So while Light is Wait. watching this, here come this instigating ass nigga. Ooh, Light, I'm not gonna lie, that nigga pressing your shit right now. <laughs> so what the fuck you gonna do about it, huh? So here come this man Light, his ego is challenged. You think I'm fucking evil? Quit all that fucking yapping, nigga. No. You God, and you can suck my divine dick six feet under. So Light got to work quick. No. Throw his name down in a heartbeat. And after he finished, he was like, yeah, that's right. I'll show the world what happens if you defy me. So 40 seconds later, and Lind L. Taylor has a heart attack, croaks over, and dies. And here go Light thinking he got it in the bag. What's Ish. wrong? Huh? Get the fuck up, huh? But see, you was talking about that shit. What's good, fuck, nigga? Huh? Wow. <laughs> I can't believe it. You was one dumbass nigga. You really think I get my introverted ass on TV and f***ing press you like this? You one stupid ass nigga. And now I know all your shit. The dude you just killed? Yeah, he was due for execution today anyway, so he could go f*** off. Damn. So, this is not a worldwide broadcast. We only broadcasting this in the Kanto region of Japan. So guess what, motherfucker? I know exactly where you at. So Ooh. come on, motherfucker. Go you play right into L's trap. You're a victim. Mm. You just you just was gassed up. You why you get gassed up like that, brother? You gotta control yourself, brother. Go ahead and try to kill me. Do it. Come on. I'm waiting for you right here. Don't be a pussy bitch. Show me you got some balls on your mm. or is it that you need a name and a face? Mm. Fuck that quick. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> oh yo ass. Could it be me though? <laughs> Kira notice on oh, my mama, I'm coming for your bitch ass and I'm gonna put your f nigga ass in the slammer. So after this man L played light like a fool and pressed the living hell out of him, the investigation on Kira went into full effect. So this is where we move on to our next set of evidence and next set of victims. And our first key victim is Ray Pinber. Now, Ray Pinber was a FBI agent. Yeah, this case got so big that this man L ended up getting help from the FBI to come solve this case because that's how horrendous this shit got because light was murdering like 23 
is a day at this point. He was Jeez. dropping at least one body an hour and just toying with L the whole time. So L suspected that whoever Kira was had to have ties to the police because how the hell would this person be getting all this information on these criminals? And what do you know? Light's dad is the police chief. So L basically go. made every single person that had ties to the police be kept under surveillance by the FBI. And Ray Pember's job was to survey Light. And obviously Light didn't need this type of heat. So Light decided, I'm gonna have to put this man in a coffin. So Light came up with this devious ass plan. And that was the bus jacking incident. So for this, Light needed a guinea pig so he found another local crackhead on the most wanted list Kichiro mm. Otsuruda I'm not gonna lie I just butchered that man's name so the <laughs> second part of his plan he needed a shorty so this man dialed up one of his shorties on his roster and called her and said hello I'm over here stroking my dick oh no <laughs> I'm stroking my shit lord Jesus I'm a freak <laughs> You freaky ass nigga. So the hey, next what day, the fuck? ends up meeting the girl. Hey, that meme give me every time, bro. They go on their date to Disneyland. And of course, Ray Pember is right behind them following them, all according to Light's plan. So they end up getting on the bus, and Ray Pember sits right behind them. So about a good 15 minutes later, they stop at the next bus stop, and the local crackhead gets on the bus. And this man wasted no time. He cocked back the Damn. gun and said, Hey, everybody, sit the fuck down and do your best Rosa Parks impersonation. I'm going to blow this nigga brains out. But, but, but sir, please, I ain't playing with you, nigga. So this man called up Disneyland and said, Straight to the shit. All the cash you made today. And make sure the nigga that's bringing out got on a Minnie Mouse costume. Sir, we're able to comply with your demands but why the Minnie Mouse costume so I can get my nut off nigga the fuck else you expect so I beg your pardon I beg your pardon you get you 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 bust into to Minnie Mouse what it's but why the Minnie Mouse costume so I can get my nut off nigga uh, the fuck else you expect so while this sick man is high out of his mind and going wild this man Ray Pimber leans over and says all right y'all like he said stay calm and do your best Rosa Parks impersonation my name is Ray Pimber FBI so it's not the Rosa Parks impersonation man's ID bro just smirked and thought in his head <laughs> stupid ass nigga all according to plan so Light digs in his pocket and drops a piece of paper on the floor. So the crackhead's like, the fuck you moving for, you little shit? Do you, do you want me to blow your brains out, nigga? But Light meant to drop that paper because that was a piece of the death note. So old boy turns around and starts tweaking because he ends up uh -oh. seeing Ryuk behind him. So bro just starts emptying the mag, trying to shoot this man Ryuk, but obviously it ain't working. So bro ran up to the bus driver and said, I don't know, get me off this bus. So the bus driver stops. Bro runs out into the street and cartoon comes flying. Oh no! Splatters this nigga's guts. Damn! The logo. And of course, of course, Light is sitting on this bus with no unfazed. Mercy, looks at his watch and said, "Eleven forty-five on the dot. Right wow. on schedule." Light staged this entire bus jack because using the death note, he made this man board the bus, uh -huh. attempt to hijack it, then jump out and get hit by a car due to accidental death. And then at the end of this, Ray Pember thinks nothing suspicious of this man because he thought, huh, I mean, he couldn't be there because he would have just offed him when he got on the bus. So now this man does not suspect Light and Light has his name. So Fair play, brother. Fair play. After Light boomed the second local crackhead, it was time to move into phase three of his plan. So about a week later at a subway station, he ends up seeing Ray Pember walking. So Light puts on his hood looking like he about to hit a lick. So he gets behind him and says, Ray Pember, don't move a fucking muscle or I'll drop your ass right here. He was so brave as fuck for doing this. That he's Kira. And Too to brave. It, he said, look over there. You see that nigga with them glasses on? I'm going to drop that nigga right now. And bro right here starts having a heart attack and uh. dies. Bro straight up off this man in the public eye. And then Light told him, Don't worry, you shouldn't feel bad for him. He was a registered sex offender and a PDF file. Yeah. Ah! Talking to little boys the other day. So Light oh gets him an earpiece and tells him to board a train. So later on when he boards the train, Light tells him to open the envelope. And he sees all these papers. So Light says in his ear, I want you to write your boss's name in every single FBI agent that came here in Japan. The one yeah. you drop your ass and your bitch right the fuck now. 
So Ray Pember writes down all the names. So after this, Light told him, wait 30 minutes and then get off the train. So 30 minutes pass. Ray Pember gets off the train and it happens. Damn, Ray. And right before the lights went out, this man looked up and saw who Kira was the whole time and thought before he died, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Tough. So after the lights went out for Ray Pember, so did the rest of the FBI's because the sheet that Ray Pember wrote those names on were death note sheets. So the other 11 agents that were in Japan and his boss shortly died right after Ray. Ooh. And just like that light yaku bitch the FBI. Because the director of the FBI calls L and tells him, Mr. L, um, I'm sorry, but America's going to have to pull out of this one. This <laughs> shit's getting out of hand. Now it seems that Light is ready to make his victory lap, but there was one problem. There was a loose end, and that loose end was Ray Pember's fiance. Oh yeah, they did boo. They did my baby bad, man. They did her so bad. They he did her so bad. That was my girl. Former FBI God. agent. So she did some snooping around and quickly figured out whoever Kira was had to be on that bus. Also, she ended up figuring out that he can kill in other ways besides a heart attack. So a couple days later, she, she was, was on it. Police station. She was on it. She's basically figured out this entire thing. All she needs to know was who was on the bus. So when she goes to the police station and asks to speak to Light's dad, who was over the case, just by coincidence, Light walks in and overhears her talking about it. So Light was like, who the hell is this bitch? So he walks up to her and tells her, hi, excuse me, ma'am. My name's Light. Pleasure to meet you. You see, my dad is the chief of the police force, so I can help you out real quick. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look at Disney. Just playing stupid. Playing like a dumb kid. Oh, he's a menace. So they end up walking outside and they start chatting it up. So the first thing Light asks is, um, Miss Beautiful Miss, um, can I have your name? So she says, um, yeah, um, my name's Shoko Maki. So Light already has the name. So now his plan was to just talk her up, figure out what she knows, and if she knew too much, he was gonna offer. So they kept on talking and she just kept on yapping, but everything she said was right. And the real stinger was, she said that, um, yeah, um, so my fiance said that he showed somebody his ID and he wasn't supposed to. So whoever he showed his ID to, yeah, um, that's most definitely Kara. So it's like, shit, she knows way too much. She got to die now. Cause if they pull up them bus cameras, lights cooked. So here go this sinister ass nigga. So bro starts asking her questions, but in reality, he's writing down her name. So light thinks he's got her, but a couple of more seconds pass and she's still alive. Nani? So light ends up figuring out because Ryuk's ass was laughing at him the whole time that she used the alias. So that was not her real name. So light is starting oh, to panic. It is do or die right now. Cause if she gets back to the police station, he's done. So he pulled this last trick out of his ass and told her, well, you see, ma'am, um, it's gonna be actually impossible for you to go back to the police station because they're very busy right now, but it's okay though, because I'm on the Kira task force. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, I have connections to L too. So this Pinocchio, those lying ass nigga, baited her and told her, you know what, ma'am, you are really smart. You should join the task force with us. All you gotta do is show me your ID so I can check your credentials. So obviously she jumped at the idea. Cause she wants to bring her fiance's killer to no. justice. So she whips out her ID and it's over. Light saw her real name, <sighs> wrote it down, and made the cause be of unaliving herself. So right before tragedy was about to strike, she asked this man, Um, why do you keep on looking at your watch? Oh, because I'm Kira. Duh, stupid bitch. Oh my. Why I gotta be her? <laughs> no! walking away and she's oh going to unalive herself in gta and while she's walking away this sick nigga is just talking and saying oh ma'am um what's wrong D you still need to use my phone right no, i thought we were gonna catch kira no is even more tragic they never found her body we don't know what the hell happened to her all we that know was is sick. that she unalived herself that was so sick that was the sickest part of the show for me right there they took her they took why did, why he do it like that and with that the bus jacking incident comes to a close
Alrighty, chop chop, move it on. We got more people dying. Flip the How many is that? 115? Or for our next set of evidence. Now, obviously, we know Light's biggest opposition is L. One of the smartest characters in fiction. This nigga's anime Sherlock Holmes. And this man was on Light's ass 24-7. Because he always had a hunch that Light was Kira. I mean, he literally walked up to Bro and said, Hey, man, uh, my name's L. And I think there's a 5% chance that you're Kira. What? <laughs> Crazy. I'm not sure all the way, but there's like a five percent chance, bro. He had this man join the Kira task force to keep an eye on him more. He even had cameras set up in his room, watching him 24/7. So you know damn well that he was watching him yanking his shit. That's nasty word. And don't be acting like I'm reaching. You think Light was cracking Misa? Fuck no. He hated this bitch. Speaking of that, he did. He did hate her. He did hate her. He just used her up for whatever weird shit he had going on. Let me go ahead and introduce the accomplice. The second Kira, Misa. Absolute brain dead. This girl brain suffers dead. from brain dead. <laughs> And she's just deeply in love with this nigga. And the reason why is because her parents were murdered. And lo and behold, guess who brought justice to the murderer? Yeah, Kira off that nigga. And how she got a death note is even crazier. One night she was walking home and she got approached by some crazy ass stalker nigga. And he was ready to kill her. So a Shinigami named Jealous that was weirdly in love with her decided to save her life and kill the stalker at the cost of his life. Mm. So Rim decided, uh, I might as well give her the death note. He would have wanted it this way. And Tada, Miss Brain Rot became the second Kira. Crazy. So Light decided to use her because she had the Shinigami eyes and she could see any person's name just by looking at them. But at the cost you of sacrifice. your lifespan, though. But That's crazy. That's a crazy hit. Would y'all just take the regular Death Note or y'all taking the Shinigami eyes too with the shit? I don't know. I'm just taking a regular. If I gotta choose, I'm taking a regular Death Note. I'm sorry. That Shinigami eyes, you can keep that, brother. I knew he needed her to dep in his bag so he could kill people 10 times easier. So he made her pose as his girlfriend. So time passes, and one day, L ends up capturing Misa, suspecting her of being the second Kira, because they raided her apartment and just found a bunch of shit. So she got put in confinement. So Light said, it's time to activate my master plan. So to make sure Misa did not confess, he had Rim make her relinquish ownership of the death note so it would wipe all of her memories of it. Then had Rim and Ryuk swap notebooks. And in the notebook, he wrote down two BS rules that basically said, if the person that is using the notebook hasn't wrote down a name in 13 days, they die. And mm. if you destroy the notebook, all the humans that have used it will die. So he told Rim, Go give this notebook to a greedy, power-hungry bastard and let them become Kira while I give myself up to L, relinquish ownership of the mm. death note and go into solitary confinement. Or this was a this was a this was a high IQ play. Very high IQ play. This needs to be studied. The days. And that's what Light did. Because on day seven of his confinement, Light gave up his ownership of the death note and lost all of his memories of it to take all suspicion off of him. And on day 15, the murder started back up again. And the person murdering these people was Mr. Kiyosuke Higuchi of the Yotsuba group. So him and this group decided to kill other businessmen to further the growth of their company. Sick. That sick. sound about right. What does that say? That sound about right. Just name a company in the comments. Who would do this? What company would do this in the comments? Let me know. Let me know. You're a victim. Hmm. What company would do this? Disney just building a bigger monopoly, but they downfall was they had some rats. And that was Sick. these two right here because they basically sold out and was talking to L the whole time. So over time after Light and Misa was released from confinement and L and Light, the two smartest niggas on the earth working on the case simultaneously, ended up figuring out that it was Higuchi. So one night they end up baiting him out with a fake broadcast saying that they're about to reveal who Kira is. So later on, while this man is speeding, down the road he ends up getting stopped by a cop uh -oh. so the cop do his thing he like pull up in a porch registration please so higuchi's like all right, all right, all right. but this man was not reaching for the license he was reaching for the death note brother if you don't give this man your license and registration you ain't gotta pull the death note out brother come on man what are we doing what 
Hey, the shady got me ideal so he could see the officer's name. So he wrote bro oh, took name down, but then just hit the gas. And That's off. crazy. So this man starts a whole high speed chase running from this cop. And about five seconds later, the cop ends up having a heart Ooh. attack and crashes into the back of a truck. Damn. Another victim by truck. truck oh, damn, this nigga's on a tear. So that man L said, all units arrest this nigga. And I Wait, so truck coon got at least three bodies. D d Three bodies so far. Keep up with the truck coon kills. Kid you not, this shit went from Death Note to Tokyo Drift. So this man had the whole task force chasing him. L Light and Butchery in the chopper. And they was not playing games. They said this shit ends tonight. So while this man Higuchi is speeding on the road, this man runs into a police blockade. Oh, so he no. ends up getting cornered and he is trapped. So he tries to drive the other way. But Faze Watery is up here on the Ooh, helicopter we. and says, not on my watch. Fuck Quick me. scope. He shoots his tire out, makes him spin out and he crashes into the wall and it was over for Higuchi they surrounded that man so they cuff him pin him down and they start interrogating him now here is where this master manipulator plan comes full circle so while they're interrogating him Higuchi tells him that there is a notebook that allows him to do all of his killings so light dad goes in and searches the car and he finds the death note so mm. when he touches it and starts looking through it he ends up seeing the room and freaks the out. So then the other detective comes over and he says, Chief, are you all right? The fuck you screaming for? Oh, shit. So that man L says, bring the we notebook can. over to the helicopter. So L gets the notebook and just starts staring into nothingness, just going into a deep thought. But he ended up realizing there has to be more than one notebook because there were two cameras. And while that mm. was happening, Light was like, let me see it. And Light grabbed the notebook and started tweaking. Bro, like he entered the avatar state. Ooh. Every single memory came back into Go this on. man's head. So L was like, uh, bro, are you good? And Light was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. It swaps over to his face and it's over. This nigga just thinking, yes, yes, I've won. Lord <laughs> Jesus. All according to plan. So this man pulls out a piece of paper that he had in his watch locks himself and makes him bleed and writes down Higuchi's name with his blood. And 40 seconds later, while Gone. they're taking him back to the car to arrest him, Higuchi has a heart attack, falls Gone. to his knees, <laughs> and dies. And look at this man's face, bro. It is all over. It was just about to get worse from here. So they get back to headquarters and they start looking over the death note and they find those fake bogus rules that Light made. And that fake 13 days rule basically cleared him and Misa's name. So they were off the hook. So this is when Light's mass manipulation went overboard. Mm. He made Misa go find the other death note, gain all of her memories back, then left a note saying, yeah, you remember that guy L? Find his real name and kill him. So she makes the shit Shinigami ideal again, cutting her lifespan in half again. And she done for, nigga. She finna die in the next six months, nigga. God damn. Lord Jesus. And he makes her start killing people again. And this is where Rim ended up realizing what Light's full plan was. And that was to get suspicion back on Misa so that Rim would have to intervene and kill L to protect Misa because Rim deeply cared about Misa. So it was pretty much wraps from here. The power goes out and she didn't already kill Watery. This old man fighting for his life. <laughs> so he ends up deleting all oh. the data. And then a few seconds later, it happens. L has a heart attack, Tough. falls over, and before he dies, the last thing that he sees That's is sick. this evil, dick-headed ass smirk just to rub it in at the last second. And the lights went out. L was dead. Now here comes R.I.P. to L, man. He was he was right on the money. He was right on the money, y'all. The attitude swap up. Look at this fucker. He's like, oh, no, <laughs> it was the shimmy gummy guys. You know, y'all, I'm not gonna sugarcoat. That's it. it. I really do hate this nigga. Yeah, but yeah, I, I have feel to you. Admit, game is game. This man is the best mass manipulator right beside this bastard. So then later, he ends up finding Rim's pile of ashes because she died because she was saving Misa and, like, just casually takes his death note back. So after this, 
Light was about to go on another mass murder requiem. This man stands at the top of the building, pulls uh -oh. out his pen, and just started going on a rampage. Oh These my God. two people that were on the task force that were basically convicts, yeah, it was wraps for them. Bootleg Nina Williams. She's out here riding her motorcycle. She has Gone. an attack, crashes the motorcycle, Gone. and dies. And this next one was tragic. This dude right here, Iber, his wife and kid walks in the room. Ooh. And the kid's like, Daddy! Just to see his dad's corpse fall on the ground. Oh, man. Ah. Y'all remember the Yotsuba group? They thought they were scot-free. Rinji gets up and tells Suguru that we did it, man. This is a new start for Yotsuba. Yeah, man. Our stock is about to roar. Just for this yeah, right, nigga. fall over. Oh, <laughs> blood. And old boy right oh, here knew shit. he was cooked. He has a heart attack. And every single member of the Yotsuba group died. But light didn't stop there. Now, I have a theory. Because they didn't confirm this, but I honest to God think that this is true. While he's on this killing montage, okay. it shows all the past news reporters that have reported on this man. Now, you see this woman right here. Keep this. On mm -hmm. this board where it shows a bunch of criminals being wiped out, she is on the bottom right. And her picture what? was out. So that tells me this what? nigga killed all of the news reporters no. that said some shit about him. I'm oh man, what? Bro, you too petty. Hey, you too petty. I ain't even know that. I ain't even peep that. You too petty, bro. You're too petty, brother. I think I'm actually fucking sick. Nigga oh, said fuck bad God. press. Y'all can suck my dick, TMZ. And after this, it Jeez. just got worse. Over the next five years, Light's killings increased tenfold because there was My nobody gosh. that could stop him so this is the time where this man had to have dropped off at least a hundred thousand plus nigga america no, claimed him as law judge jury God and executioner because they couldn't do nothing look at george bush old ass <laughs> you know he ain't do shit but i can't blame can't do nothing because life's reign of terror just got worse and worse and worse <laughs> I mean, the nigga can control truck coon on command. And the yeah, that's, that's different. Thing this man ever did was go to L's grave and just start derangingly laughing oh his ass my off. God. Look at this nigga. He has his ass up. He's tooted. Yeah, yeah. You can't be tooted up, brother. I'm so sorry, brother. You can't be tooted up. I beg your pardon. Put it up. I beg your pardon. Stand up, brother. Stand up. Laughing his ass off. No, Look at this nigga, he has his ass up. Oh, He's God. looking at his grave and spitting. Uh, his okay, shit. all right. That, that shit is moving. I, no, CJ, brother, I'm sorry. I beg your pardon. I don't want to look at that thing. All right, I don't want to see that. Nigga, light said, Tuck to a testicles, nigga. And with Light's victory, we now move Talk into the final crazy. set of evidence. Now, at this point in time, Light has taken the mantle of L. Yes, Light just didn't kill L. He took his whole flow, his whole name. And L's successors, Mir and Mello, are now on his ass. So Mello and the Mafia decided to kidnap the director of the MPA so they could trade him for the Death Note. So guess what Light did? Ding, 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 you probably guessed it. Light kills the director of the MPA, so the Mafia will lose their leverage but guess what that's just the start of this last little list that i have so you want to hear some more terrible shit i got you so since light killed the director of the mpa Mello and the mafia decided let's kidnap this man's sister so they could get more leverage so after this whole trade went down and they got back his sister she was so traumatized by this experience her mind was broken she was so fucked up she couldn't even talk had her in a wheelchair and everything at Arkham Asylum. And his sister was sadly a victim of his actions. That's but it. guess who also was a victim of his actions? His daddy. Yeah. This man used his dad as a pawn. So to get back that death note, decided to relinquish his. It made Misa send a message that said, Kira will be relinquishing his death note to somebody in the task force. And guess who took ownership of that death note and made the Shinigami ideal? His daddy. Ooh. So later on, they end up raiding Mello's hideout. And at the end of the raid, Light tells his dad to confront Mello. So while Light's dad is confronting Mello, Light's dad was hesitant about writing his name down and killing him. So one of the dudes that was left alive shoots his dad in the back and Damn. blows up his hideout. 
So after this, they are in the hospital and Light's dad is about to die. So you know what this sick, pathetic bastard does? He says, Dad, please, before you go, you've got to write his name down. Is this nigga serious? That's crazy. Come on, old motherfucker. Help me out here, damn it. Do something useful for your son before you fucking die. Brother, that's your daddy. You got to have some type of respect for your daddy. He's finna croak, nigga. Oh. Oh my God. Get him the fuck out of here. Get him, <laughs> please. Black, get him the fuck out of here. Like, I can't begin to tell you how pathetic this shit was. That's your sick. dad is about to die. Because of your actions, by the way. And you True. begin this to get somebody's name for your personal gain. Sick bastard. And this wasn't even the worst part. Since his dad had the Shinigami eyes, he looked at Light and said, Oh, sonny boy, I'm glad to see that you not care because I could see your lifespan. I could die at peace. Damn. This man's dad died not knowing that his son was Kira because he relinquished that death note. Because the thing was that if you were a user of the death note, a person with Shinigami eyes could not see your lifespan. So his dad died living a lie. Sickening shit. Crazy. And his blood is on Light's hands. So this man joins Doflamingo in the Patricide Club. Now we have come down to our last major victim. And this one was just peak manipulation so while kira's influence was growing stronger in the world and light was out here inciting riots to stop near he needed the right people to spread his message so the ex kira teru mikami who was basically light's right hand man that he personally chose after making misa relinquish her death note again and losing all of her memories decided we need a change of management so this fat nigga demigawa who is the hmm? leader of kira's kingdom and is the spokesperson for this oh lord decided to stream their yes lord service on tv Tell me how you feel now. Yes, you Lord. Mm -hmm. So Mikami said, fuck these niggas. So he deleted Damn. every single one of these lunatics on live TV. Delete. Then he saved Demi Gall's fat ass for last. He said, the doors of the church are open, but not for you. Lord Jesus. So after Good. Mikami disbanded the church of Kira, he chose a loyal supporter of Kira to be the next spokesperson. And that was Kiyomi Takada, Light's ex-girlfriend back in college. So you see where this is probably going to go, right? <laughs> So Light convinced the task force that we should use Shorty to get some more leverage on Kira and find out who that is. But okay. obviously, Light had ulterior motives with her. So one night, he Freak meets out. up with her. So here go this manipulation riz. How you doing, Shorty? You looking as fine as ever. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you want to do. Her in the palm of his hand. So he basically told her, look, Shorty, I'm Kira. And I see that my dog has chosen you as Tell me what you want to do. So I'm going to make you the guy goddess of the new world and she was so ecstatic she was entrenched in this nigga and yeah y'all could probably guess what happened after this now they don't show it but let's be real yeah he yeah he he, he come on now come on we know he 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 he, he, he we know the pipe on our ass yeah we know so after light got done getting his freak on and getting takata to work with him he had shorty basically being a another Kira. So he made Mikami make a fake notebook and sent the actual names to Takada, bringing her in and making her do some damn killing. And she was just dignitized. She had that Jeffrey Dahmer syndrome when shorties was just fiending over that nigga for some odd reason. But time for shit to get crazy. So one day, Takada ends up getting ran up on damn. and kidnapped by Melo. So a couple hours passed and Melo started trying to interrogate her. Bro pulled out the gun and said, all right, chop, chop. Take off them clothes and start shaking them booty cheeks. I'm going to blow your fucking brains out, bitch. So oh while God. she starts stripping, she ends up taking a piece of the death note out that she had on her bra. So while Melo's transporting her in the back of his truck, she ends up calling light and she on the phone saying, oh my God. shake my booty cheeks so light said baby calm down now did you do what i told you to do if you ever got in a situation like this yeah 
And that is what she did because she wrote Melo's name down and killed that nigga. Damn. But Light being a sick and twisted bastard decided, nah, I'm gonna get as much out of you as I can until your gas tank is empty, bitch. So Light told her on the phone, the time has come. Execute order 66. Not the so emperor. He made her <laughs> call up Mikumi and made her tell him, send me as many criminals as you can so I can go on a killing spree. So while she was doing that, Light was just sitting in the car on the way to go pick her up. And in his head, he just said, man, you know what? You should have never went to that frat party without me, bitch. Oh. And it was all over for shorty. Sick. Light made her unalive herself by burning herself alive Ooh. and setting everything on fire to get rid of every single piece of evidence. Oh my God. And just like that, that was Light Yagami's final victim. Because Sheesh. the next day on January 28th, this nigga got <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, with the final confrontation with Nier, Light got cooked. This nigga went out so sad, bro. Nier read this motherfucker like a book. It was actually fucking hilarious seeing this nigga lose his mind because Mikami utterly failed. So Light tried to pull a fast one, but Matsuda Damn. just- Damn! Damn! Ooh! So for Light to escape, Mikami just unlocked himself. Nigga committed seppuku, and Light just ran away, but they didn't even bother chasing him. He was done. So Ryuk cool. watching over the whole thing was just like, well, I give it to you, like you was one entertaining motherfucker, but I need my notebook back. And on Tough. January 28th, 2010, anime's most deadliest serial killer dies of a heart attack. Tough. Man, how everything comes full fucking circle, <laughs> doesn't it, buddy? Crazy. All right, everybody, it's time for our final tally. Now, obviously, keeping kill count in this is literally impossible mm -hmm. because there were mad off screen deaths. And he just wasn't criminals. He was killing innocent people, too. Mm -hmm. And also, people with just petty crimes. He probably killed your ass if you got a speeding ticket. Because this motherfucker was just evil. I mean, you know how many families he probably tore apart doing this shit? Mm -hmm. A lot. Shit, what like equals one prayer for these families, man? But here's Facts. what we'll do. If one of y'all can get an actual reasonable number and people actually agree with you, I'll pin the comment and we'll make that our number. Mm. Well, you know what that number gonna be right now? Drum roll, please. A lot. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. I mean, hey. I ain't Anyways, man, case closed. And that is another installment. Good of video, me. man. So, hope y'all enjoyed and uh, get ready, baby. Because I'm next trial. Good shredder. Hold on now. That Shredder? Is it, he finna do a video on Shredder? Oh shit! Gonna be the Let's go! We've ever had. Yes, I'm already giving you a warning right now. So, until then, I'm out this home. Yeah. I hope y'all enjoy, man. If y'all like that, I know y'all like the CJ the Champ D Do Flamingo video if y'all haven't seen it. And if you want to try something different, we got some unhinged Naruto. That's crazy. I'm telling you, if you ain't checked that out, it's crazy.